Good morning. Not much on today's agenda. I think we're gonna go find a coffee shop, get something to drink, and just kind of see where our day goes from there. Thanks for joining me. So trying to find a coffee shop. Since uh, since moving here, I haven't really explored the city. So I think that's what I'm going to do today. Uh, get my bearings a little bit. Everyone has to have their favorite coffee shop. So far I'm seeing Starbucks, but not a fan to be honest. I mean, coffee is coffee though. So if if I had to, I would drink it. You know what? I haven't had Dunkin' Donuts in a while, so I think I'm gonna do that. I know I just just said that I needed to find like a little, you know, local coffee shop, but a donut sounds really good right now, so that's what we're gonna do. About nine minutes away. Safety first, kids. I don't really know how people drive with their camera sitting right here. I'm afraid it's gonna just like slide around, so I'm not going to do that. I will see you when we arrive at Dunkin' Donuts. See, that's what I was afraid of. Thank you, Mr. Zinnuck, how am I help you today? Give me just one second, please. Order when you're ready. Can I get a large iced coffee with hazelnut? Large iced coffee with hazelnut? Yes. And a cream with sugar? Yeah, a little bit of cream, a little bit of sugar is fine. Anything else? And then can I get a jelly filled donut? Okay. And that should do it. That's what I thought, thank you. Thank you. I know. I shouldn't be having donuts and coffee, but we'll talk about that a little more when I get back to my apartment. Oh man. I know I'm good. Here's a jelly donut. Have a good day. You too. I haven't had a jelly donut in a long time. Let's uh, let's go back to my apartment and we'll we'll talk about why I'm eating this when I'm into fitness stuff. This isn't working. That's better. Okay. I haven't had this in a long time. Yeah, yeah that's, that's dangerous. Okay, so, as someone who tries to live healthy and tries to uh, gain muscle and not get fat, why am I eating a jelly-filled donut? and drinking coffee with who knows how much sugars in it. Unless you're competing, trying to be the biggest and have the most definition, then I don't think that your dietary restrictions should make you be living in a prison. I think that you should be able to enjoy foods every now and then. Last time I had a jelly filled donut, I can't tell you. It's been, it's been a while. So I guess you could consider this to be a cheat meal, but personally, I think that uh, food is wonderful and that we should be able to enjoy it without having to feel guilt. Oh man. You know what? Screw it. I'm just going to get fat again. Oh man. I need a napkin. Mm. Mm. Ooh. Is this what uh, drug addicts feel like when they, they quit for a little time, then they get tempted into getting more? I don't know, but I feel great. No guilt here whatsoever. gonna fall.
You know what? How rude of me. You guys want some? Yeah. Get in there. See if it'll focus. Yeah. Get you some. Get a nice bite. That, that sounded sexual. I'm sorry for that. Donuts just get me really excited. Mmm. Mmm. What do you think? Should we go get another one? I mean, I do have to go down three flights of stairs and then back up three flights of stairs, so that counts as exercise, right? Yeah, probably not. I don't really know how to transition from eating a donut and making like weird noises while doing so to the rest of my day. So we're just gonna have a little, little break here. We'll return to our normal programming after, uh, after I get off this sugar rush. Okay, so we're down from our sugar high. And there is a project that I've been wanting to do. Here, let me just show you. So I have this like, I guess you call it a vaulted ceiling here. And I was thinking about putting some lights, like string lights or even, I don't know, Christmas lights, tis the season, just along the inside, just to kind of lighten it up here. I mean, we do have all these windows, which helps with the natural lighting. But as far as the lights in this actual room, we just have this one. It's pretty dim, and then we have this one over here, which, I mean, it works. I think it'll add to the aesthetic. I don't really know what I'm going for. I'm a, I'm a dude, so designing things is uh, not my forte or my specialty. So let's go to the store, see if we can find some lights that'll work to hang up there, and uh, let's work on that today. I think I got what might work. So, I used the new measure app that Apple came out with and put on everyone's phone. And I think it's about 32 feet in circumference. So we got two lights, we're gonna connect, connect them together. This one's 24 and a half feet long, and this one is 12 and a half feet long. So, that should cover it. The only thing is, how do I get up there? I'm gonna use these little, uh, little command strip hooks to hang the lights up there. Now, I don't know if these are dangly or if they're just gonna like chill there, but I'm gonna try my best to make it look nice. And then we're going to run an extension cord up the wall. Hopefully this is long enough too. But uh, let's figure out how to get up there and see if this works. Okay, that works. Might as well call this a Disney movie because this is tangled. They don't dangle. They're just kind of like that. So we're going to lay them flat up against it if we can. Now we just have to figure out how to get up there. I mean, the first thought is stand on the coffee table. God didn't really bless me with height but he did bless me with a uh, sarcastic and sassy attitude, so that's good as well. I mean, there's the age-old question, why do women live longer than men? I have no idea. It's not like this is unsafe or anything like that. I can touch it, we're good, we're good. So, bad news. While I was uh, setting up my camera to hang the lights around the vaulted ceiling, my camera fell and uh, do 
lens isn't supposed to look like this. So it's probably going to be a while before I put out any other videos because lenses are not cheap and I can't get one right now. So it's possible that I'll do some iPhone videos, but I don't really like the camera quality. So we're going to end that here before I start roid raging because I am upset. Have a good one. Bye.